Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric, and I got another interesting article that has an interview from Phil Spencer himself about the Xbox Series X, the future of gaming, some of the features that Xbox Series X and even the PlayStation 5 have right now, his thoughts on them and stuff. There was an interesting statement that he said that caught my attention because it's a big part of what the future is about. Um... Certain stuff pertaining to ray tracing and 8K resolution and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and read this. Let's talk about this from Video Games Chronicle. And Phil Spencer always has such interesting stuff to say. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about this, give my thoughts and stuff. If you aren't subscribed, why don't you go ahead and hit the big red subscription button down below and enable your notifications so you do not miss any of the updates. So this is Xbox Boss thinks 8K might never be the standard in video games. Phil Spencer also says Ray Tracing probably yet to live up to its promise. So, yeah, you know, I mean, we're getting into 4K gaming now. 8K is still, I mean, I kind of guess ahead of the of ahead of the time still. So, that's kind of interesting that they're bringing up 8K considering I mean, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, let's go on. Xbox, Xbox boss Phil Spencer believes it will be a long time before 8K resolution becomes standard in video games, if indeed it ever does. Alright, so that's a fair statement. It says Microsoft's more powerful upcoming next-gen console, Xbox Series X, is able to run games at true 4K and can also put output 8K resolution for some content. So not for all of it. For some 8K content. But in an interview with Wired, Spencer cast doubt on whether 8K will ever be widely adopted in games. And this is what he goes on to say right here. I think 8K is aspirational technology, he said. The display capabilities of devices are not really there yet. I think we're years away from 8K being, if it ever is, standard in video games. And I don't argue with that at all. And, and some of you guys might be like, oh, all right. <laughs> Captain Obvious. Uh, duh. Of course it's not the standard anytime soon. We're just getting into 4K. Liz Hamrin, head of gaming engineering at Xbox, also suggested to Wired that not as many people have 4K TVs as AAA publishers might believe. Um, that's honestly a true statement. For example, I don't even have a 4K TV yet. <laughs> I still got to buy one in order to enjoy the next console generation properly which i'm looking forward to i'm i'm counting the days guys um but yeah i'm i'm in need for a nice new 4k tv if if anybody has any tips on how to get a cheap one i don't necessarily need a big one you know a, a small one would do <laughs> anyways it says both consoles of the xbox series x and the series s are both scheduled to launch november 10th so we already know this we know the prices they will both support ray tracing which promises to deliver true to life lighting accurate reflections and realistic acoustics in real time as you explore the game world so that's according to microsoft which ray tracing has been the big talk of the town amongst both the xbox consoles and the playstation 5 we've been hearing all sorts of stuff about it we just had an article the other day talking about how ray tracing works in spider-man remastered and miles morales um and as we're getting more gameplay out and we're starting to see how the footage looks like, we're starting to see how just ray tracing works and how powerful it is and how great it looks. And, and honestly, it's pretty exciting. It's like this generation's blast processing. So continuing on on the article it says, when Wired put it to Spencer that ray tracing has failed to deliver on its problem so far, he agreed that was probably right. So this is an interesting turn of events here. And to clarify a statement, he says, When I think about games where ray tracing has had a dramatic impact on my experience as a player, it's kind of spotty. So, honestly, this kind of goes, that's an interesting statement for him to come out and say it. And, and I can't argue with that. But how much of ray tracing have we really seen in gaming, at least in consoles? Um, as far as I know, this is the first console generation that's going to be having uh, ray tracing as a prominent feature in its graphical capabilities. And it's still going to be very spotty, in my opinion. And also, I read an article the other day, the same article that talked about Spider Man, 
uh, remastered, having ray tracing. The initial titles that we're going to see for this next console generation are going to be spotty as far as ray tracing goes. They're going to have rough edges. There's going to be segments where it just doesn't look right, that it just kind of is not there completely. And I think that's going to be at least for the launch era titles of this next console generation. So, of course, the titles that are coming out right now um, in November are going to be the ones that the ray tracing will not be there just quite yet. But think about how great these games are going to look eventually uh, once once the hardware is, I guess, being pushed to its capabilities, once developers understand exactly how to program properly for the Xbox Series X or even the S um, and the PlayStation 5. I think we're going to see a lot of beautiful stuff. I mean, still, all, all minor hiccups and stuff aside with the ray tracing on these consoles, in my opinion, from what we've seen already, it looks nice. You can't deny that Miles Morales is going to look great, whether you're playing on the PS4 or the PS5. You can't deny that uh, the uh, Apex Legends and you know Doom Eternal and all the other games we're going to get on the Xbox Series X, Halo Infinite, are going to look great. These are going to look great once they come out, once developers get you know the whole kinks iron out of how the development works and how ray tracing works these games are gonna look great um so don't get it twisted that spencer says that you know it's been spotty it's because it's still kind of new to console gaming it's not something that is just perfected yet so i think we should really be patient in regards to that Again, I'm not a fan of console wars, so I'm not going to be like, oh, wow, you know, PS5 does this a lot better. And I'm not going to be like, well, Xbox does this, this, and that. Honestly, as a whole, I'm excited to play some good looking games. I got to get a 4K TV and I got to get ready. I got to buy my headsets. I got to buy my accessories because I'm excited to see this stuff. All worries about whether this game is going to look right or the ray tracing is going to work aside. I'm excited. We're we're almost exactly a month before the Xbox Series X comes out. And then just a couple days after that, we're a month away from the PlayStation 5. So I'm not going to be souring on the parade. I'm not going to be worried. I'm not going to be doubtful. I'm not going to be disappointed. I'm excited. And I want you guys to be excited too. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Phil Spencer saying this in regards to ray tracing and also talking about 8K gaming. Do you feel that, uh, I, I probably would say maybe at least a good eight years before 8K resolution becomes the standard. Do you agree with me? Do you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.